Good morning. What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am in a great mood today, and it's a beautiful day outside, and I'm procrastinating working. So, today I am playing on my six player alternate account, Eisenbard the Sneaky 33. We're trying to set up a six player progressive game on the Europe board. Just waiting for one person to show up in the lobby. Settings are 60 second turns, balance splits for rolls. No blizzard, no fog, no AI, and no filter on the lobby. So I'm playing <clears throat> whoever pops in, and we'll see how it goes. Things to know about the uh, Europe board. Europe board is just slightly larger than Classic. It's got 44 territories, and it has corners. So we'll do a quick breakdown of the players and the board value. Once we pop back into the menu, but we, it looks like we've got a real six-player game. And I'm in the first position, which I don't love, so here's a bad sitch already. So, in this corner, in the Iberian Peninsula, we are dealing with uh, two and two of Magenta. I'm going to remove Magenta from one of those two positions now, because I don't want them behind me. It looks like all my weight is clustered in France. So if I pull that move, that hopefully disincentivizes the Magenta player from coming up my rear end. And that is why I did that on the first turn. Uh, in the second position, we have Charles Kanako, 23, fly the flag of the United States, 108 hours in the game. They look like they would be a beginner or maybe an intermediate. In the third position, uh, flying the flag of Spain. Is this their first ranked game? No wins, no losses online. This is uh, Magenta's very first ranked game. I don't expect them to put it behind my lines, and because I did that on my first turn to try and uh, make that a less appealing move. In the fourth position we have Khan, and Khan is flying the flag of Turkey. 16 hours, 5 wins, and 28 losses. After that we have Light Blue, also flying the flag of Turkey. Let's see how well these two Turkish players work together. And finally, in the sixth position, we have Mike Anderson flying the flag of the United States, 56 hours. Okay, so we have a fairly soft field. I shouldn't be too, too worried. Uh, my base strategies will apply. Don't piss anyone off. Don't break their continents. Let them fight amongst themselves. And then on the 6th, 7th, and 8th turn, eat them for their cards and win the game. If you're new to my channel, I'm a progressive specialist. Um, basic strategy for progressive is the cards matter a lot more than the board does. So fairly novice players like we have in this case will tend to gun for continents and try and hold them. And I'm very happy to let that happen because let's say I break someone's three bonus continent on the second or third turn. On the eighth turn, they bonus in 40 troops and send that all into me in revenge. So that's really not the fight I want to fight. I'm trying to win the entire game and play for continents is thinking small. Let's do a quick breakdown of the continents, seeing as how we have lots of time. The corners of this map, the uh, Eastern Edge, Russia, and Ottoman Empire, both worth four. The Independent States is a distributed continent, so you have 11, but you have to hold these three separate sections. Uh, Britain and Ireland, worth three. German Empire worth six in the middle. Austrian Empire similar worth five. You're not gonna really hold either of these in France. A bit more likely to be hold France is a five for five on this map. One, two, three, four, five territories. So that might be something you would consider doing. But if y'all know what I like to do, I'm not gonna do it. So I have two chips on yellow to take France, but as soon as I do, that is going to incense my opponents, be like, oh, Pete's getting five bonus better kill Pete. And why would I ever promulgate the kill Pete strategy? So, Magenta did stick a troop there. I am going to eat that on my next turn and then be able to defend my corner from one front. I'm in one corner, and the hope is that Blue is occupied trying to take the rest of Britain, so I get to maintain an exclave, and, and then, from then on, I'm going to gravitate eastward from my Norwegian position. So I'm going to finish France, reinforce, and then start marching east, and because it's six player uh, with no bots, I might hold off on getting a take so I'm not forced to match first, I'd much rather match last. Matching sequence of progressive goes 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15. I don't want the 4, I'd much rather have the 15, so I put myself at the end of the matching sequence. 
My first two turns have been very straightforward and laid out for me. I'm not going to get creative, I'm not going to get fancy. I just have a wall now that I've set up guarding Spain and Portugal. And there's no value in Spain and Portugal, so no one is like, oh wow, he's really accruing value, I better break this guy. It's just like, leave me alone, this is my piece of the map now. And then I'm going to start putting troops here and marching east, as I said. The yellow player takes most of the Austrian Empire when they finish. Someone else will likely break, and that's the game I like to play uh, with six players, is uh, seeing them play off each other, pitting human against human. That's my favorite part of the game of Risk, right? Playing the man, not playing the board. Okay. The magenta player is about to take Italy by finishing Switzerland, but that's not a continent, so I don't need to worry. He's also taking a great long time thinking about this move. Well done. I'd give a well done, but... Or rather a well played, but uh, I'm not in the... It's too early to start chirping these guys. Okay. What is Orange going to do? Orange is going to continue fighting for the Ottoman Empire. No surprise there. Bold. Do they finish? Very bold. Now, orange gets broken by white or uh, yellow. Maybe yellow uh, is going for... Oh, orange is just in, in punch mode. Well done, sir. You just keep punching all you'd like. So that was a completely unnecessary... So what orange did on his turn was bad, right? He has a continent. He does not have the ability to guard it. So, because there's no alliances, there's no ability to communicate. So he's guarding on one of the three fronts, but he's still open in both of these. Attacking from this position, maybe he wanted to preserve that because he was expecting blue to finish this continent. I'm fine with all of this. I want my opponents to feel secure. I want them to have their continents. I want them to fight amongst themselves. I know that more novice players do not tend to be good neighbors, so I'm not expecting either white or yellow, to allow orange to hold this continent and get the extra four troops, particularly without defending it at all. Oh, but yeah, that whole little uh, snide comment I made about the two Turkish players. Uh, orange moved out of England. Yes. One Turkish player letting the other take a continent. My spiny sense is tingling. So, white doesn't break orange. Let's see if yellow does. So, if my spidey sense was really tingling, I should break Britain, right? But I already discussed the problem with that move, so I'm not going to. Too bad, though. Yeah, so I figure the issue... It's, it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. The issue is if I break Britain, then he retakes the earliest chance. Blue has a match, he's going to pump it in, and I lose my ex exclave. I, I lose my exterior position. Um, the damned if you do part now is though he gets an extra three troops, and I can only hope that they're not going in to the old Beatman. So, uh, the yellow player is in a conundrum, right? The yellow player needs to break that Ottoman continent, but he also kind of wants to finish his own. And which way does this cookie crumble? He rolls a seven on four and fails to take his continent, and now he breaks orange. Well played, sir. Magenta is dwindling down to 12 troops. Magenta starts to look like the fish, so it's at about this point in the game where I start to try and figure out where the fish is. <clears throat> I was watching a video from my buddy uh, Cosmic Cowboy, and I noticed that he really likes to set himself up for the kill from turn one. He's hunting right away. I've never... Uh, try to do that personally because I like to let my position evolve um, to a place that makes sense and I can naturally preserve the maximum number of troops but but he's not wrong right it's it's a it's a, it's a style difference I really like the the interplay um, getting to chat with all of these other grandmasters and, and figure out the, the slight differences in the way people think again play the man not the board right um, 
Magenta, yeah, does a bunch of bullshit and takes a long time to pass their turn. Okay, this is their first ranked game. I shouldn't be such a dirty gatekeeper. All right, so now we're in that uh, quid pro quo thing where <coughs> orange, is, orange finishes their continent again, and now yellow is even more incentivized to break. I'm going to continue to march eastward like I said I was. Blue and orange are looking more like the fish, but blue gets the extra troops, so he's got uh, plus three bonus for holding Great Britain. My hope with blue is that they lose both of their exterior positions, and then they are stuck. And then I can never cross this divide in France, right? I do not want to appear threatening to blue. Okay. So I'm extremely confident now. He's going to take that and not break. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a... Okay. I'm getting a lot more confident that orange and blue are collaborating. But they're both not very good at the game, as one would expect from people who need to cheat to win. So... I can line up, yeah. So you see how orange, or so you see how blue is is back down to sixteen troops. So you have almost everybody on this board under twenty. White finishes the German Empire. They're not going to like what the uh, sus suspected collaborators have to say about that. I'm going to give a little well played. You can see I'm the only one who isn't going for continents, and I think I've successfully explain to you guys why. I'm just going to move this way, get out of everyone's way, and take out one of Orange's two remaining exclaves in the process. So, the theory behind removing your opponent's exclaves is it makes them easier fish in the mid-game and late-game. So I've removed one of Orange's exterior positions. When and if this gets removed, probably by uh, the player playing Germany. Okay, Blue now has two positions as well. Orange down to two positions. Yellow down to two positions, but they're close. Yellow is probably the fish, and there's no way sandwiched between two other opponents that are holding continents that yellow will be able to hold. Magenta's in a bit more of a rough spot. Because they haven't been able to take a continent, so they're not accruing any value. Which way does that four go? Because that kind of determines how the chips fall as we move into the mid-game. This way. Doesn't break, right? It breaks! You greedy fuck! So, as I predicted, right? More novice players make bad neighbors. Um, oh, and he keeps punching. He's punching more than once unnecessarily. Get one take, get your card, especially if you're not in a very strong position. Okay. Orange was allowed to hold the Ottoman Empire. Gets the plus four puts in seven, back up to 21. You can see how I haven't held any continents all game, and I'm uh, the highest troop stack <laughs> compared to anybody else, but you know. They don't call it the kill piece strategy for nothing. That's two. I did two today. Um, fuck. My spotty sense really is tingling. So part of me on my turn wants to go pop, pop, pop and remove blue from this side of the board, but I'm not going to because I want to get that 15. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to put my troops on the six, but I'm going to make it look like I'm running out of time. So nobody thinks that it's, it's what I what I do in this position when I'm playing all humans, and I want to skip a card on on turn five, is I don't want to make it appear to be intentional. I want it. I want to make it appear to be a mistake, so that everyone else gets their card matches before me. I don't want anyone to to pick up on my scam. Basically, the blue player puts in six, still under twenty troops. Do they put any here? They put them all there. They're not guarding their Britannia at all. Okay. That's fine. And breaky, breaky. Who knew? Yeah, I'm very, very confident. And you don't see collaborators a lot, or at least not as much as the internet would like to have you believe. But I'm, I'm quite confident that these Turkish players are in some form of communication with each other. But that's fine, because I haven't put myself in a position where I can get hit and lose because of it. Right? I have a, stick, a six stack up there, but why would anyone punch it? It's not offending anybody. 
I, I suppose I do have two thirds of the distributed continent, but I have, I'm not gunning for this one, and I'm not crossing this yellow divide until it's time to kill yellow. So now I'm going to make it seem like I'm going offline. So this is a bluff. I'm going to skip a card because I want to match last, but I am bluffing because I want it to make I want it to make it look accidental. So we got to fill some dead air. So it's April now. Um, I'm very excited for the spring. I think the spring has become my favorite time of year. It used to be the summer because I love really, really hot weather. But I feel like I, I appreciate the anticipation of the summer more. Um, anticipation is half of the fun for me in life. So uh, building up to something really exciting and then paying it off is really, it's really what I'm all about. So always something new to look forward to and I'm going to switch to attack but I'm not going to get it in time okay so let's see if everyone else yellow starts their turn gets an attack right away and yellow's first to match magenta's going to do it too Oh, yellow finishes their continent. All these guys going for continents in Prague and not guarding. Or at least not guarding effectively. Depending on how the late game goes, I'm going to um, think about sending a collaboration report for the blue and the orange player. Showing each other absolutely no aggression and showing everybody else quite a lot. I'm actually kind of lined up to kill the blue player. If I can go pop, pop, pop and take them out of Russia... What size match they get? So yellow is the four, yellow is the fish. Maybe I just come down here and eat yellow on my turn. I'm talking two turns. Oh no, orange matches in early. Orange gets the four. Orange trying to eat yellow. But they don't have quite enough troops. Maybe they're trying to tee yellow up for blue. That's what's going to happen, right? This will be another data point to argue for collaboration. I'm going to take yellow out of this position entirely, and then blue's going to eat yellow on their turn. Which is not really the end of the world for me, right? Because they're using the earliest possible matches to do that. They're spending more troops probably than they're gaining. Yeah, this 100%, 100% smells like cheating. All here, go one, two, it's super easy. Cheaters! You dirt, you dirty bums. Flag the user. Let's see if it works. Orange and light blue, very friendly to each other and very aggressive to everybody else. Who's the fish? So, we have Magenta puts in the five. Yeah, what do you do, though? Because it's correct for white to actually take Magenta right now. I really wish I had seen this bullshit coming, because then I would have taken a card. But I don't like to assume the worst of people. 
Okay, white's uh, breaking uh, from the color that broke them. Okay. On my turn, can I kill the magenta player, and is it worth it for me to do so? I can put in a 12, yeah, and then I eat them for their five cards. Too bad, magenta. Too bad. Can I also eat blue? Yes. Would I match again? Yes. Maybe that makes more sense, because that takes out half of the collaboration from this board. Suck my dick, you cheating fucks. And sorry, Magenta, you are a victim of circumstance. And this is how you win, even when you're ganged up on. Kill white. Yeah. Well, then I think I should. Sorry, white. I'm not trying to lose this game either. Well, that was easy. Too bad, but at least I got it on video. So for all of you who think or suspect your opponents might be collaborating. It does happen. It doesn't happen a ton, uh, at least not in my experience, but it does happen. And when it happens, you can do the right thing by trying to help SMG uh, minimize the cheating. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's see if I'm... What do we got? We got a novice, we got an intermediate. Yeah, so it looks like we got a new account. Maybe he's playing two accounts, right? Trying to help his terrible account <laughs> get better. Two novice. Two beginner, one intermediate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was fun for me. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.